Hi, this is Mark from Spot Metrics, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to integrate 3DAR into an existing iPhone application. That application is the Simple Geo Places app. It already has a map populated with annotations. These are nearby places. When you change this MK map view into an SM 3DAR map view, the map annotations appear as AR markers when you hold the device up. 3DAR handles the sensor fusion for you. Those AR markers can be UI kit views or OpenGL views or a combination of the two. All right, let's get started. Unzip 3DAR SDK.zip, which you can download from the website, and then go to the included link so that you can follow the uh, setup and integration instructions. Copy this 3DAR folder into your project. There it is. Add the following system frameworks. This probably takes more time than anything else. Okay, we want to get core graphics, core location, core motion, foundation, map kit, OpenGL ES, quartz core, and UI kit. The next step is to add the dash L S T D C plus plus flag to other linker flags. Go to build settings. Make sure all configurations is selected. Now add device and application keys to sm3darkeys.txt. Okay. I have my keys here on the clipboard. Email us for device and application keys that you can run it on devices or if you want to submit your app to the store. Setup is complete. Now switch the MK map view to SM 3DAR map view. Open the file where the MK map view is defined. I'm going to do a find in project. Places map view controller. That is the one. So go to the header and import sm3dar.h. Now change mk map view to sm3dar map view, but make sure that you leave the mk map view delegate the way it is. Switch over to device and build. Success. Since this app uses a nib file, we want to change that one too. The nib file I happen to know is mainwindow.xib. Navigate down to the map view in the places map view controller. And in the inspector, um, change the class identity to sm3dar map view. By the way, I'm going to click shows user location because I like that better. And that really is it. You have some customization steps here. Um, most of that takes place in 3dar.plist. Something to note is you can change 3dar map mode from auto to manual, and uh, then you're, you're responsible for switching the view from the map view to the AR view. In auto mode, the switching happens automatically. There's the map view, you hold the phone up, it switches into the AR view. Thanks for your time. We hope you make a lot of really cool apps with 3DAR.